In this tutorial, we'll be creating a room set out of our island. So with 3D Studio Max open, have your island open and click on the Create tab. We're going to make a box that's the same size as our island. So in the top view, I'm going to click and drag. And then I'm going to raise it up so that it's taller than my island. And then to make it exactly the size I want it, I'm going to change the length to 400 and 10. That's a little bit bigger than my island. And the width to 410, a little bit bigger. And the height of my island was about 100, so let's make the height of the box 120. So this will easily be able to go around our island. We can also change the name of the box. Let's call, call this RS outside and you can change the color to whatever you'd like. Let's make ours yellow. And select the transform tool. That'll let you change the X, Y, and Z. Let's make this zero, and the Y zero, and the Z zero. And so now you can see in all your views that our box is enclosing our island. The next thing we want to do is add a material. So I'm going to press the M key while I have it selected. And I'm going to click on an open material and click on standard. This time we're going to add a VE room material. So double click VE room and you can select whatever color you'd like and change the name of it as well to RS outside. We'll keep it consistent with the name of the object we're putting it on. And so I'm going to click and drag that on top of RS outside and that puts a material in our room set. I'm going to close the material editor and I'm going to make sure that I have the RS outside selected and then I'm going to right click on it and say convert to editable poly. So now under the modify tab for RS outside you should see editable poly and if you click on that you'll see down under selection um, a few options. Click on the polygon icon that will allow us to select only the polygon and not the island itself or anything around it. So now with that selected I'm going to click and drag to select all the sides of my polygon. And then underneath edit polygons I'm going to click on flip. So that flips our sides of our RS outside box inside out. Now if I click off of it you can see that it's been flipped inside out. Now I want to go to the Utilities tab, click on the VE Exporter, and open it, and under Room Sets, right click on it and say Add a Room Set. And we want to change the name of that, so we can close that and go up to the Select by Name tool and choose Room Set 01. And after you do that, we'll rename it to RS Island Grassy. So now we want to link our RS Island Grassy to our RS Outside. So we need to click on the Selection tool and select RS Outside. Then go to the Link tool and then select by name and click on RS Island Grassy and then Link. That links those two together. If you open the exporter now, you'll see that underneath Room Sets, uh, you'll see RS Island Grassy and if you hit the plus sign, under Rooms, you'll see RS outside because those are linked together. So now we're ready to export it. If you right click on the RS Island Grassy, you can click on export and it did it correctly and so you can close it. So in this tutorial we created a room set for our three-dimensional island.